Hi guys and welcome to Studio Wildlife. In today's video I thought I'd do something a little bit different or new and I would show you how I paint a zebra because I've not done one of those in a while and I thought I'd show you my process. This is the YouTube video and if you'd like to see the full extended version of this please head on over to my Patreon channel. I'll pop a link down to that in the description below. So I'm going to start nice and simple and I'm just going to break up the image into basic shapes. I'll pop the reference photo up so that you can see it. Uh, I got this reference photo from Pixabay so you guys can use it as well if you want to. It's just roughly just draw out a quick rough shape. So now I'm going to do what I said earlier and break this image up into shapes. We have the head which is a long thin triangle and I'm looking for this really rough triangle shape so the simple shape that I can see goes like this so there we've got another simple triangle so now we can start thinking about more details we can look at the shapes in a little bit more detail so we can start to refine this neck so we can start to see the formation of a little zebra let's give him a little mouth so all I'm doing here is looking at some of the shadowy shapes just for later on okay there we have our basic shape I could probably start to block in some of these shadowy areas now like there's some nice shadow here just over the arch of the neck okay so there we have our basic shape of our zebra what I'm going to do next using the same mix using that same gray color I'm just going to add some stripes So again, to all Patreons, just want to say thank you for my for your support. Uh, John, I will send you a message about the print. Congratulations for winning that. And I will send that off to you as soon as I can. Thank you, guys. And I'm really glad you're enjoying the content and bearing with me. I am now officially part-time. I have now officially finished for summer. So I'll now only be teaching two days a week and the rest of the time will be dedica dedicated to making videos on the YouTube and the Patreon and potentially TikTok and potentially Instagram videos. I'm just going to try and expand and grow my channel and these videos and these tutorials as much as I possibly can because I just love making them. And it really means a lot that you guys are enjoying them. And I do love hearing from you guys. And I do love the feedback that you give me. It just really spurs me on to create more videos. So thank you so much. Okay, so there is our basic drawing. This is the underpainting. What I like to do next is block in just a rough wash for the background. So what I've been doing is just using mixes of red and brown and a little bit of blue to create these purpley colours and then adding some more blue to it to add some variation to these shadowy areas. I'm just doing it quite watered down at the minute just so that I can still see those stripes that I drew in underneath and I'm just essentially blocking in a base layer which I will then work over the top of later on.
and I'm just going to use the angle brush to start more accurately drawing in my black stripes again. Remember, what you're doing doesn't have to be absolutely identical to the picture that you're copying. It doesn't have to be absolutely the same. You can make little artistic changes where you see fit. Don't be afraid to change. Okay, now we can start adding some of our lighter colours. The next step is adding more highlights. So for this and some details, I'm just using again not pure white but very very close to pure white i am still mixing more white with the yellow now i'm just using my detailed brush to start looking at where the brightest lights are going to be So wherever the light's shining, I like to add some little bits of blue to my stripes to really give that impression that the stripes are part of the fur rather than just painted over the top. Okay, so there's a couple of final things that need to be done for what we can call this one finished. So the first thing is gonna be glazing on some shadows. And we're just very carefully glazing the color over the top. Finish it off by just adding a few longer, darker marks over here. Then just to really, really make it pop that one last time, what we can do is we can take our pure white, nice and thick, so no real water with this one, and we can just pick some of the areas that we want to really, really stand out and just lay it on nice and thick I really hope you enjoyed the video this is my process for painting a really simple really easy straightforward zebra if I was going to actually paint this as a full sized portrait on canvas I would go into more detail with the fur but the same principle applies with all the glazing, all the colours, all the shadows, all the highlights. The only difference is the actual fur is much more detailed but I still glaze those shadows and colours over the top afterwards. So you've seen my other videos, you've seen how I paint fur, you can apply those fur painting techniques and this How to Paint a Zebra video to create your own images. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and the Patreon. And for more wildlife art tips, please head on over to studiowildlife.com. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.